Do Sunni and Shia Muslims have the same Quran? Do Sunni and Shia Muslims believe Quran has been perfectly preserved? What does tradition tell us? Today's Quran contains 6,236 verses. And according to a Sunni Muslim, Sheikh Yasir Qadi, that there are holes in the narrative. There are lots of different Arabic Qurans. And of course, Allah knows best. And hopefully, Allah, with all of his wisdom, will be able to fix those holes. And recently, another Sunni Muslim, Dr. Shabir Ali expressed, as he looked at the son of Musaf, he expressed that Sunnis and Shias share the same Quran. Yet, when you look at the Islamic tradition, you get to see from Shia sources, the Quran which was given to Muhammad was 17,000 verses. So, today's Quran contains 6,200 verses, and according to Sunni Shia sources, that Quran is supposed to be 17,000 verses. Those of you who need to attend maths classes, you will get help once you go to the class. But those of you who don't need to attend any maths class, you would simply know there is a big difference between 6,236 verses 17,000. 6,236 is not equal to 17 thousands. 6,236 verses, the book which contains those verses, has holes in the narrative. Of course, another good side is the Quran which is supposed to have supposed to be 17,000 verses, it still has holes in the narrative. 17,000 take away 6,236 is just over 10,000 verse, 10,674 verses are missing in Sunni Quran according to Shia sources. How many? Minimum of 10,764 verses. But let's look at the evidence. Let's first hear Dr. Shabir Ali as he makes his big claim. Uh, well, a few things might be said about this. One is that uh, this has been attributed to Ali bin Abi Talib. Okay. And uh, Ali bin Abi Talib, uh, and as one of the most important teachers uh, of Islam after the death of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he was the fourth caliph, uh, the successor of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Now, for, for Shi'is, he was the first uh, of the great Shi'a imams. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact that this is attributed to Ali bin Abi Talib, uh, though obviously obviously not written by him, we'll, we'll get to that uh, in more detail. Um, mm. Now, uh, the, the, the fact that this is attributed to Ali and his family, and, uh, and the fact that it corresponds uh, so closely to what we're reading as the Quran uh, worldwide uh, by Muslims uh, across the world today, both Shi'is and Sunnis, uh, shows that uh, the agreement that Sunnis and Shi'is have on the text of the Quran, this goes back to very ancient times. Mm -hmm. uh, they conclude that this was written towards the end of the first century or into the second century of Islam, mm -hmm. which would mean uh, probably about uh, um, 70 to uh, 100 years after Ali uh, had passed away. Mm -hmm. So it's not really genuinely his writing. Uh, means that uh, way back in history, uh, Muslims, uh, both uh, Sunnis and Shi'is, uh, had agreed uh, that uh, there is only one basic Quran, uh, which is read by both parties. Dr. Shabir Ali, who is a Sunni, tells us as he looks at the son of Musaf, which is attributed to the Caliph Ali, and it has nothing to do with Ali, he can come to the conclusion that Sunnis and Shias have the same Quran. Let's hear some of the Shia scholars, and then let's hear what they are going to say about the Quran. موقف العلامة المجلسي من تحريف القرآن مولانا أن العلامة المجلسي في البحار هل أن العلامة مؤمن بتحريف القرآن أو ليس مؤمن بتحريف القرآن 
هل مؤمن بأن القرآن متغير أو ليس مؤمن القرآن متغير أعزائي في مرآة العقول في مرآة العقول المجلد الثاني عشر صفحة خمسمية وخمسة وعشرين علي بن الحكم عن هشام بن سالم عن أبي عبد الله قال إن القرآن الذي جاء به جبرائيل إلى محمد صلى الله عليه وآله سبعة عشر ألف آية كم آية ملان سبعة عشر ألف إيش قد عندنا نحن منها ستة آلاف يعني إيش قد من القرآن بأيدينا ها وين القرآن ملان آه. ثلثه يعني يعني كانت القرآن ثلاث أجزاء باقي منه إيش قد ملان باقي منه جزء سؤال طبعا العلامه البهبودي يضعف الروايه في صحيح الكافي ولكن انظروا ماذا يقول العلامه المجلسي فالخبر صحيح ولا يخفى ان هذا الخبر وكثير من الاخبار الصحيحه صريحه في نقص القران وتغييره يعني الاعتقاد التفت الاعتقاد بتحريف القرآن على حد الإمامة التي هي من أصول وأركان الدين هذا العلامة المجلس يعني verses 6236 is very much different than 17000 difference is 10764 verses are gone allah knows best what happened to those verses let's get to hear another shia scholar regarding 17,000 of the Quranic verses revealed. Respected students, ulama, elders, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we have a very, very important topic to discuss today. Uh, a very uh, interesting um, ibarat and a text uh, we have come across. So we'd like to share it with you and explain it and um, discuss it inshallah ta'ala. There is a narration of one of the canonical works of the Shia sect. That work is known to the elite, the ulama, and also to the non-ulama, the laymen. It is known as Al-Kafi, authored by Muhammad bin Yaqub Al-Kulayni. This, according to Shia scholars, is a canonical work. It is a work which is unanimously accepted across the across the board within Shia Ithna Ashari 12 circles amongst the academics and non-academics this narration is regarding the Quran the narration goes as follows Ali ibn Hakam and Hisham ibn Salim and Abi Abdullah alayhi salam قال إن القرآن الذي جاء به جبرائيل عليه السلام إلى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سبعة عشر ألف آية. The narration goes as follows: Indeed, the Quran which Jibreel عليه السلام brought to سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم contained seventeen thousand verses. Now, every Muslim, young and old, learned, non-learned, scholar, non-scholar, those passionate in deen and those passionate, not passionate in deen, those religiously inclined and practicing or non-practicing know that the Qur'an we have, ma bayna daffatain, between the two covers, approximately 6,000 verses and here the narration is saying that the Quran brought to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam by Jibreel alayhi salam is 17,000 verses not far off from triple for being three times as large as the Quran that we have in our midst now the book is Usul al-Kafi the first parts of Kafi 
the page number is six four nine. We heard from Shia scholars. They are telling us Quran is given to Muhammad was seventeen thousand verses. Sunni scholars are telling us, and current Quran contains the Quran is six thousand. 6,236 verses. If anyone has not been able to follow with all the references, here is the full reference. Usul Al-Kafi, volume 11, page 87, online edition. The Quran that Gabriel gave to Muhammad is 17,000 verses. 17,000 take away 6,236 verses equal to 10,764. Therefore, I think it is very easy to come to conclusion. The Quran Muhammad received, according to Shia sources, is different than the Quran Sunnis tells us that Muhammad received is very much different. Muslims do not only disagree uh, regarding the customs of Muhammad, what Muhammad did, what Muhammad said. Within Shia and Sunni Muslims, now they already disagreeing regarding the preservation of the Quran. Not only narrative has holes in it, not only there are different Arabic Qurans, but Shias and Sunnis claiming they had different Qurans. And current Quran is only, just only, 10,764 verses is missing from what Gabriel brought to Muhammad. I'll let you to decide. Did Shia and Sunnis had the same Quran? Or, let me rephrase that. Did Shia Muslims and Sunni Muslims, while they have two different Arabic Qurans, one of them is 17,000 verses, other one is only 6,236 verses, which Quran was perfect Quran? And sadly, none of them has been perfectly preserved. There are holes in the narrative of the Sunni Quran and there are holes in the narrative of the Shia Quran. Sad reality for the Muslim world. Very much sad and sad.